10 years ago, I joined YouTube. And I came as far as 2,000 subscribers, which is, isn't even a subscriber count I was reaching for to begin with. All I ever wanted was to uh, make videos, entertain myself, entertain other people, make friends that I never would have envisioned making in my entire life, find some allies that could relate with me, make videos out of absolute catharsis, show off my skills with video games or even, or if enough with, or if I have enough practice with guitar, I'll do that as well. And here I am today with 2,000 subscribers. Honestly, I always wanted to reach for that 1,000 subscriber goal, but following my uh, said success back in a uh, August of uh, 2017, right before the Bristol race, while I was in the car with my mom driving to said ra racetrack. That's when my goal was finally completed. That's when my journey, my ultimate YouTube journey was completed. Everything I ever wanted to do on YouTube, with the exception of a video, having yet to uh, reach the uh, 1 million mark, which I am sure there will be future installments that will uh, reach that said mark because uh, I'll, I mean, let's let's be real here. A lot of my my NASCAR wreck videos are pretty much my uh, most popular ones because hey, who doesn't love stock car carnage and whatever the fuck? <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> so with that in mind, I'm pretty much uh, I think. I am most likely going to continue to make those kinds of videos because those are essentially my most popular videos, but not my favorite videos. I mean, I do appreciate you guys uh, binging those videos and uh, sharing it everywhere, viewing it, viewing it however many thousands of times or whatnot, enjoying the, his the uh, destructive history of NASCAR. But uh, hey, eventually I'll get back in the video making business when I get a lot of things regarding school and stuff like that out of uh, the way since uh, I'm a supremely busy man with a lot of school related stuff. A lot of it has been take, taken away my sleep, taken away my time, taken away my time to do almost any uh, editorial features in my uh, latest videos because I have been I have been absurdly busy so uh but nonetheless thank you guys for the uh, support throughout these uh, 10 years of me being on YouTube I definitely appreciate you guys uh sticking with me hmm. all right hold on a second I'll be right back shh but in other words shut the fuck up phone Alright. I, um, met a, I even uh, met a few friends in person a long way. Actually, a few is even an understatement. Uh, quite a lot, actually. My first was Derek Angle back in September at the Loudon Race. Then came Ty Naughton at the uh, Loudon race in uh, September of 2015. Lane Chavez, my ultimate best friend in uh, Arizona in uh, 2017. Then again in 2018. Zach Rogers, when I met up with him to see The Last Jedi and The Rise of Skywalker. Who else? Alex Hoover at uh, Disney. And of course, when he came to visit me at New England. Dylan Young at Daytona. The list is essentially endless. Oh, you can't you can't forget about Aranda and Shades as well. Who can ever forget about the Shades? Who can ever forget about that 
ultimate concert goer. I even went with that concert goer to uh, Ozzy Osbourne, no less. I mean, I can't. I never envisioned uh, attending a concert with Ranter in fucking shades, no less. <laughs> Meeting him at my, at my dream concert from three years ago, no less. I mean, if if you're gonna at least uh, go to a concert or attend a concert with someone that's within the ranting community or someone that's is insightful about heavy metal rock music rap or um hip-hop or punk rock blues um what else pop pop punk um old or just just all sorts of different uh sub genres or sub genres of music so not even just metal or rock just all sorts of genres of music if you're gonna attend concerts with uh, someone that's uh, has a uh, sizable fan base, then it might as fucking well be Ranner and Shades, someone who lives very, fairly, clo very clo fairly cro close to me, no less. Sorry, I had a I had a bit of a brain fart right there when I uh, was mixing in between very and fairly. <laughs> God damn, I'm tired of shit tonight. I, uh, with one whole year, I, uh, made, made it as far as, uh, 80 subscribers, ranging from February 23rd, 2010 to, uh, February 23rd, 2011. I reached 100 April of 2011, then August 2017 came along where I reached the 1,000 mark, and then... Of course, last month, I reached the 2000 mark where I didn't even try for that particular Mind Stone at all. All I did was make videos out of entertainment to uh, show off my skills or whatever the fuck, to uh, express my catharsis about whatever the hell it is that's really bothering me or pissing me off, just so uh, other people around the world could relate and connect with me that would probably give them the urge or desire to binge my videos. I mean, they don't have to watch all of my videos, but... If, I mean, if you r really do relate with me and really love my content, then might as well knock yourself out. I mean, I can't speak for you, so it's up for you to decide whether or not you want to subscribe to me. I mean... Since I am beyond 1,000 subscribers at this juncture, a number to me is just a number, man. I mean, it doesn't matter what subscriber count I am at this point. I'm, I pretty much reached as far as I ever wanted to go three years ago. So as long as you guys uh, enjoy my videos or are a good supporter of mine, then I'm all for it. Some friends have come, some friends have gone, some friends have even come back. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little 10-year uh, retroactive uh, update video of mine on my YouTube channel. Sorry for no editorial effort with this video since I've, I have so much time uh, absurdly revoked from me, so... um. Eventually, you'll see some videos that'll take actual effort to make. So don't you worry, guys. I'll get back into the editing talent soon enough. So keep it real. Space Metal out.